Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It is February the 5th, 2016. Take a look at race number three. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for full card selection from Aqueduct. Uh, today's third race, and hopefully um, the, the scheduled race program goes forward because uh, rumor has it's going to snow here in New York. I, did not, I didn't even know it until somebody told me. Um, so we might be getting some snow on uh, Friday. Um, I doubt it personally, but the person who told me says we're getting snow, so. Um, we have seven horses going to post here. Really good, uh, allowance optional claim for 59,000. Phillies made four yields and upwards. New York, uh, breads. Uh, mile 16th on the inner dirt. And I, I, there's no way, uh, just looking at, over these group of horses, not to knock them, but... Um, that seven horse, Wonder Gal, looks very hard to beat. Um, a three to five favorite. Um, gonna key that horse here on a uh, 450 cent trifecta on top. Underneath, I'm gonna box the, um, the two five for 50 cents. It's gonna cost you a dollar. Uh, in a pick four, pick five, I will, I will single, um, the seven horse for sure. Um, it's, uh, just looking over this field, like I said, it's, it's very, um, he he is this she is uh, a notch above all the other ones. But number seven, Wonder Gal, um, three to five. I have Rad Ortiz Jr. for Leah, um, Leah Germanti. Uh, um, last time out there on the Aqueduct on Sloth Mile seventy yards on January the tenth in the ladies handicap. Finished third by five and three quarter lengths that day. Um, had a horrible start that day. He um, just um, lunged in, bumped, almost you know, almost. Uh, Foul, basically. Um, not almost, but, you know. Um, and after, it was very hard to recover after that. The closest the source got to the lead was uh, one and a half, uh, was a half length off the lead. Uh, that was uh, third by half length off the lead. Um, really couldn't uh, do anything. It was weakening in the top of the stretch. It was a little bit wide also. The Aqueduct to Mile eighth on November 28th and commonly handicapped. Great three event that day. First third by seven and a half lengths. Um, this horse was near the... Um, um, he, he was up there, but when he, with the uh, leaders, he was just stalking. Um, he was four wide in the upper stretch, was really um, just weakened again. Um, and then the Empire just staff handicap at uh, Belmont, mile 16th, October 24th, against New York Breds. The last time this horse ran, ran against state bred horses. Um, this horse won by two and a half lengths. It just won easily. Um, it, like I said, this horse ran against state bred horses last time out and won. And the horse's last one before that was against state front horses back in 2014 in the Limbrook Stakes at Belmont Park. When this horse was only a two year and won easily by 14 and a half lengths. So, um, facing state bred horses should really do well here. Actually, this horse ran the Mother Goose earlier this year. Finished second by three and three quarter lengths. It's actually the favorite. And I have to say, uh, this horse just ran on that day. Um, and ran the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies at San Diego last, uh, two years ago now, 2014. Horse finished third by length. Listen, catching take charge, Brandy. Like this horse was really rallying. Um, so gonna go with this one. So recap my bets for race number three from Aqueduct Racetrack. G gonna go with the seven horse here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna keep that horse here on top as my top selection. I'm gonna box two five. Um, gonna uh, also single the seven and a pick five, pick four, whatever you're playing, pick three. So that's my single also. So good luck to all. Follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five for my pick five ticket. Good luck, everybody.